Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Earth Connections video where we're exploring the essential oil of Roman chamomile. The word chamomile comes from a Greek word meaning ground apple because many believe that it smells like an apple. I'm not too sure about that. What do you think? But this humble plant is not only healing for humans, but really great for plants as well. Gardeners sometimes know it as the plant's physician because wherever it's growing, all the other plants around it seem to heal and grow really, really well. Funnily enough though, bees don't seem to like the scent of it. Now there are two really common types of essential oil that are chamomiles. There's the Roman chamomile, which we're discussing today, and German chamomile, which is quite interesting because although they look rather similar, they're actually totally different genus and families, and they have very different properties. You'll find German chamomile, which produces a blue essential oil, is a really powerful anti-inflammatory, whereas Roman chamomile, which we are going to explore in this video, is really is a yellow oil, and it tends to be more soothing, especially for the nerves and the muscles. So in this video, let's explore how how you can use Roman chamomile to help your body, your mind, and your spirit. Chamomile being such a soothing and beautiful aroma can really help you to get a better night's sleep. If you're having problems falling asleep, then get a few drops and rub it in your hands and inhale deeply, bringing that energy and that aroma into your body. You can also spray it, put it in some water and spritz it over your bed, or put it in a diffuser to create that relaxing atmosphere in the bedroom. It's also really nice for the skin, and mixing it with your favourite natural skincare or just dabbing a little bit on can really help with anything from allergy flare-ups to acne to insect bites. But it can also really help with muscle tension and headaches and things, especially when you're pent up and it's brought on by you know an anger or a fury or a jealousy or just kind of those over-emotional outbursts and it starts to give you that real headache. So if you're feeling really tense during the day, reach for your chamomile and if you need to relax and sleep at night, then chamomile, Roman chamomile is going to be really good for that as well. Just as Roman chamomile is really soothing for the body, it's really soothing for the mind as well. It's great when you're feeling angry or furious. Get a couple of drops, rub it in your hands, and take some deep breaths in and allow your anger to kind of settle down and fall back into perspective. Roman chamomile really helps you tackle the daily stresses of life with a bit more ease and grace. Not only does it help you to handle your reactions to what's happening around you and those stressful situations, but it really takes, encourages you to look at them and see if how you're reacting is appropriate and, it, and actually understand these reactions. Maybe these, uh, if there are external causes and things that are causing you to feel stressed, uh, Roman Kamal really wants you to step away from them and to find ways to not have to deal with them on a daily basis. It also really encourages you to look at finding more meaning in your life. You know, there's a lot of things that tell us in our life that what we should be doing. Society is telling us what we should be doing. The media is telling us what we should be doing. Our friends and our loved ones are even telling us what we should be doing. And a lot of the time we just follow what, the, what everyone else is doing without actually asking ourselves. By working with Roman chamomile and really meditating with that, it can really help you to ask, what, not what, sh what should I be doing? What is everyone telling me I should be doing? But what must I do? What do I really want to do? And it encourages you to, as you start to float through life with a bit more ease and grace, follow your must, what you yearn to do. And sometimes that will create more stress because other people go, no, 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 you shouldn't be doing that. Everyone else is doing this. But Roman Camel will allow you with ease and grace to follow your soul, to do what you really want to do and to find more meaning in your life. Roman chamomile is great to work with whenever you're doing spiritual work, especially at night. If you're interested in astral projection or any kind of journeying, then this is a really protective essential oil and will help to guide you there. In meditation, it really helps you drop into those meditative states and can help with divination, scrying, or whenever you're doing any kind of, uh, kind of deep meditation or creative visualization. It's also said to ward off nightmares and bring prophetic dreams. So it's great to have in the bedroom, either inhaling it before you go to bed or have it diffusing throughout the night to get more out of your dreams. However, you can also use it during the day. And remember, this oil is a yellow essential oil. And although the flowers of the plant are white, it's got those little yellow buds in the middle. And so that yellow or golden color is associated with good luck and good fortune. Adding a couple of drops of the essential oil into a hand cream or a hand soap as you wash your hands helps to bring luck in through. Plus you can also spritz it around your home or your property or over yourself with in some water and that will help to remove you know, dark energies or unwanted energies or entities or misfortune, even curses and things like that. 
Some people like to pop a couple of drops of Roman chamomile essential oil in each shoe because throughout the day, heavy energy that we collect all falls down in, into our shoes. And that's why a lot of people take their shoes off before walking into the house, not just because it's cleaner. But if we want to get rid of those dark energies, putting that Roman chamomile in there in the morning will help to dispel that as you pick up those dark energies. Roman chamomile essential oil also has a real heavenly or angelic aspect about it. It can help you connect with different angels. It's really good for when you're working with Gabrielle, who's an angel that encourages introspection and reflection, or Uriel, who can help you to find answers. One of my favorite things to do with my Roman chamomile essential oil is put three drops on my hand and then whisper your wish or your desire to the angels. And as that oil starts to evaporate, it'll head up to the heavens and fall upon the angels' ears where they'll start to act upon your desires for you. And this can be a really nice ritual whenever you're trying to bring those heavenly um, energies around to work in alignment with whatever you're focusing on at this point in time. Because of the yellow bud within the center of the flower, as well as the golden essential oil that Roman chamomile produces, it can be really nice on the solar plexus chakra and helping to soothe that. However, I found my greatest successes with soothing in an overactive throat chakra. Now, when a throat chakra is overactive, what happens is you tend to talk a lot, you talk over people, you're loud, uh, you tend to dominate conversations, and all the different things like that. And what we want to do is we want to soothe that and bring that communication center back into balance. By working with Roman chamomile, by inhaling it, by anointing it on the throat chakra, and by visualizing a soft blue ray of light there, it can really help to bring that back into balance. As you work with Roman chamomile essential oil, it'll allow you to make your conversations, instead of you dominating them, to be more like a tennis match, where you easily and effortlessly do express how you're thinking and how you're feeling, but also invite other people to do the same. If you'd like to improve the way you listen to other people and you hear what they're actually saying, then working with Roman chamomile can really help that as well. So working with this one is great for the throat chakra and to make sure that you have more fulfilling communication, not just in saying what you need to say, but making sure that you're hearing other people as well. And so there's that real connection as you communicate with each other. Roman chamomile blends so beautifully with so many different essential oils. From frankincense to ylang ylang, geranium, marjoram, vetiver, so many different ones. So play around and see what works really well for you. However, I have found great healing effects when mixing it with other essential oils that work well for the throat chakra. So for a couple of those examples, maybe mixing it with cypress. Now cypress is the oil of grief. It allows us to get grief and sadness out. And what happens a lot of the time when we have issues with our throat chakra, we're holding sadness in our lungs. And this really helps with that release. So inhaling those two together, putting them in your hands, putting them in a diffuser, or even anointing the throat chakra can really, really help. The other one I like to mix Roman chamomile with is eucalyptus. And eucalyptus, of course, opens up the airways and facilitates that easier breathing. You know, a personal trainer once taught me something really wise. They said that how we breathe communicates to the rest of the body how we're doing. And isn't that true when we're stressed or angry or even if we're trying to lift heavy weights, we hold our breath. And just by relaxing and breathing can really help to calm the body. By allowing your body to breathe better with eucalyptus essential oil and calming it with Roman chamomile can have a really good effect, allowing you to feel more at peace and all systems and aspects of your body to feel more calm and relaxed. To make the most out of your Roman chamomile essential oil, you can bring in other energies that really correspond with this essential oil to enhance it in all different types of ways. Now I love working with crystals, and the crystal that I reach for when I'm working with Roman chamomile essential oil is blue lace agate. It's this soft blue crystal with these beautiful blue lines in it that I think it looks like you're flying over a frozen lake or something like that. And just by looking at the calm color of this is really gentle and soothing. And it's really nice to sit outside after a big stressful day, hold your uh, crystal in your hand, put a couple of drops of Roman chamomile into your hands and hold them, breathe it in and just allow those waves of relaxation and gentleness to wash over you. You can also work with different animal guides and the animal guide that works really well with Roman chamomile is the deer. And deer reminds us the importance of gentleness, that when we're angry, to kind of step back and soothe and to be gentle because sometimes a small nudge can be much more powerful than a big push or shove when we're trying to get someone else to do something or trying to get something to change. It also encourages us, deer encourages us, to be gentle with ourselves as does Roman chamomile and blue lace agate. 
it, we have all this pressure that's often perceived because other people want us to do different things. And just be gentle with yourself and allow yourself to listen to your own heart and do what you truly want to do. Roman chamomile flowers are white and thus correspond to the moon. And so the moon is a real gentle energy and that is a really nice time, especially around the full moon, to work with your Roman chamomile. The moon also rules the day of Monday. So this is a great time to work with Roman chamomile, whether it be for your body, your mind or your spirit. Now the moon rules the star sign of Cancer. And Cancerians are that real emotional, but also that real feeling, empathetic, uh, quiet star sign. And if you want to tune into that, whether you're a Cancerian or one of the other star signs, then if you want to f listen to your intuition and your empathy a bit more, then working with Roman Camel can really help you with that. Now please remember when it comes to working with essential oils, not all essential oils are created the same. You know, the ones you buy for $2 at a local chemist, compared to a boutique one, compared to a real great pure therapeutic grade, are going to have very, very different effects on the body, on the mind, and on the spirit. So if you'd like to know more about the one that I really like, my contact details are down the bottom and I'd love to discuss that with you more. Now have you worked with Roman chamomile essential oil? How do you like to use it? What's your favourite way? And what successes have you had? Please share with our earth loving community and share in the comment section below. If you'd like to work with me to spread the joy of essential oils and crystals and all the gifts of mother nature a little bit more then I'd love to hear from you as well because I'm looking for people all around the world. But at this time I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.